We're here with uh, best-selling author uh, Carl Gallup's Carl Gallup's best-selling author of The Magic Man in the Sky and The Rabbi Who Found Messiah. Carl, uh, there's been a lot of talk recently of Jews coming to Christ in Israel. Uh, people say, well, well, there, we have three religions in the world, three uh, monotheistic religions. We have the, you know, the Islam and the Christianity and the Judaism. But, but um, you know, P.P. Simmons has hit this hard in the past, and I, I just thought it would be great to get uh, get you on the horn here and and talk about the fact that, uh, as the Bible portrays it, uh, in fact, Moses himself was a Christian, a follower of Yeshua, and perhaps even, well, not perhaps. Uh, as we examine the scriptures, we see that even Abraham was a follower of, Yesh of Yeshua. Uh, Carl, uh, are you with us, by the way? Yes, I am, and thanks for having me. And yeah, you're right. Old Testament and New Testament proves your statement that both Moses and Abraham were followers of Yeshua. And of course, we'll we'll define that out as we move along. But that's right. They and so yeah, you you can you can uh, technically and clearly and uh, 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 rightfully say that Moses and Abraham were Christians. Yeah, Jesus was debating with the um, with the Pharisees, and uh, they were talking about uh, Abraham, et cetera, et cetera. And and um, and <laughs> Jesus says to them, "Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and right. was glad." Abraham was a follower of Yeshua. Right. It, it, not only that, we read in the Old Testament that Abraham walked with Yahweh, and Yahweh appeared unto Abraham. And, and, and Yahweh stood with Abraham. I, I think of just before the Sodom and Gomorrah incident. The Bible says that the three visitors came, and two of them went off to, to Sodom and Gomorrah. We find out later they were angels or messengers from the throne of God. But then it says, but Yahweh remained with Abraham and talked with him. So wow. if that's God in the flesh, then who is that? Well, God in the flesh is, is we know him now on, in the New Testament revelation. We know him as Jesus. But but that's that's God in the flesh, and of, and of course that conversation goes on, and then the, and the and the Pharisees say, uh, uh, the Jews said to him, "You're not even fifty years old, and you've seen Abraham." And what does Jesus say to them? He says, "Hey, guess what, folks? Before before Abraham was, I am." Now, that's that's, right. that's very that's very familiar uh, speech, isn't it? Well, yes, it is because that's the very thing. That's the those are the very words that God used to describe His personality, His his identity to Moses in the burning bush all the way back in Exodus 3. You know, who am I going to tell the people sent me? And God says, you tell them I am has sent you. And That's of course, amazing. Yeah, it wow. is. And of course, Jesus defines himself over and over as I am. That's why he was crucified when they asked him, are you the Son of God? Are you the Messiah? Are you the Christ? Jesus answered with two words, I am. Oh, man, I get chills thinking about that. Because, because following that, they took up stones to kill him. Yeah. Why did they do that? Because obviously he was claiming to be God. Yeah. It, well, in John chapter 10, he went up to the temple and uh, he was preaching and teaching and, and the disciples, I'm mean, excuse me, the, the Pharisees uh, picked up stones to stone him. And Jesus said, for which of my miracles are you stoning me? Have I not shown you great things from, from, from God that, that I have come from the Father? I and the Father are one. Have I not shown you this? They said, we're not stoning you for any miracle you did. We're stoning you because you, a mere man, claim right. to be God. Amazing. It's amazing. Wow. So, so here we have evidence, uh, both from the Old and New Testament, that Jesus himself both claimed to be God and that Abraham and Moses both uh, uh, saw Jesus, worshipped him. And, you know, when we say, uh, when we say uh, they were both Christians, we mean that in the truest sense, they knew Jesus personally. Would you agree? Right. Well, they knew God in the flesh personally. That's right. And right. as we later find out in the revelation, the full revelation of the New Testament, God in the flesh, we know him as Yeshua or Jesus. So they, right. the, the Bible's clear. They knew God in the flesh. Moses, right. Moses, uh, you know, knew God, uh, walked with God, spoke to God. Uh, Abraham knew God, walked with God, spoke with God. Uh, yes. And then, of course, on the Mount of Transfiguration, uh, we know that, of course, Moses shows up. Uh, on the Mount of Transfiguration, as in, as Jesus is standing in all of his glory to attest to the glory of Jesus. Talk to us about, now, people are meeting Jesus today, even. There's there's evidence, you know, there's testimony, there's, there's anecdotal evidence that Jesus himself is appearing to Muslims in the Middle East, and Muslims are, are, are becoming worshipers and followers of Yeshua, of Jesus, of Yeshua, of the Old and New Testament, of, of God. They're following Jesus now, turning to Christ in these last days. And talk to us now. There was a rabbi. Now, Moses um, uh, was a rabbi. He was a teacher, right? Right. 
Yeah, yeah. Mo- and, well, that's what rabbi means, teacher. I mean, Moses is considered among the Jews today even as one of the greatest prophets or the greatest of the prophets. And, and uh, of course, he was the teacher of Israel. So, yes, that's all it means, teacher. So, yes, Moses was a rabbi. And, and now we have possibly the most famous rabbi who, who existed, who lived in the last hundred years. And he lived to be over 100 years old. He lived through all of the modern wars that we know of. He lived, he lived uh, to be 108 years old. Met Jesus, he says. Talk to us about this guy. Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, he, he did. But here, here's what's exciting. You can go to Google and Google Muslims having visions of Jesus. They're Muslims right. all over the Middle East and in Egypt having dreams and, and coming to Jesus. Uh, yeah. Missionaries are reporting this. Uh, on Fox News, Kirsten Powers one of the most out front and visible and well-known atheists in the world, Kirsten Power. She's on Fox News every day, even today. A couple right. of years ago, she testified that she had a vision and a dream that Jesus was Lord. She has surrendered her life to Jesus as, as Lord and Messiah, and she's even given her testimony on Bill O'Reilly's show, of all places. So you got you know world-famous atheists coming to Christ. You've got Muslims coming to Christ through dreams and visions. And now, as you just said, Yitzhak Kaduri, this amazing story. I wrote a book about it, and the movie's been made about it. Uh, but this this amazing story of this 108-year-old rabbi, the most famous rabbi in Israel's modern history. Uh, 300,000 people show up at his funeral. The president of Israel gives his eulogy. Here is this guy proclaiming right before he dies, he has met Messiah, he knows who he is, and it was later revealed through a note that he wrote that Messiah's name is Jesus. He had a vision and a dream of Jesus. Not only that, but 10 of his students who are still living and giving testimony today testified that they are now Christians. They have come to Jesus Christ. They are Jews who believe that Jesus is Messiah through the teachings of Kaduri. So here we we have the most famous rabbi in all of Israel's modern history becomes a Christian by a, a, a Jesus vision. We've got Muslims becoming Christians by Jesus vision. We have Kirsten Powers, an atheist, a famous atheist who's, whose face is on TV every day on the most watched news channel in the world. She's there every day proclaiming, I came to Jesus Christ through a dream and a vision. These are amazing times in which we live, Mike. And would you not would you not agree? We'll close with this, Carl. Would you not agree with me right now that it is time for Jews around the world to finally accept the the and worship the God that Moses worshipped, the God that Abraham worshipped, uh, to come around finally and agree that this God who this God who Moses and Abraham worshipped, that this is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and it is time for all of Israel to come around and finally be saved. Is it well, not the time for that? And as the scripture says, today is the day of your salvation. Do not harden your hearts as your forefathers did in the wilderness. Yes, it is time. It is time. Not only did Moses worship Yeshua, not only did Abraham know who Yeshua was and worshiped him, but Yitzhak Kaduri in our modern times, the most venerated rabbi in Israel's history, knew it, taught it. Others came to Christ through his teachings, left it in a note. Now there's a book and movie about it. The world knows about it. The Jewish media tried to shut it down, but it will not be shut down. And now Zev Parat in Israel, a guy that was born and raised a Hebrew, born and raised in Orthodox tradition. His dad was a rabbi. Both of his grandfathers were rabbis. Both of his great-grandfathers were rabbis. One of his great-grandfathers knew Kaduri personally. Here's Zev Parat, who, who also comes to Jesus Christ as a, as, a, as, a, as Savior and Messiah. He's in Israel going into the streets, leading Jews to Jesus, using the Word of God, and of all things, now he's using my book and my movie. We have video clips of him in the streets of Israel, leading Jews to Jesus, showing them my book and the revelation of Yitzhak Kaduri. So yes, now is time for Jews all over the world to wake up you are God's people. You are the people to whom God is speaking first, even in these last days, and it, and it's time. All right. You know, Jesus came first to the Jews. Paul said that that his heart was ached for the Jews, and now in the last days, God is once again reaching out to the Jews. Carl Gallops, thanks for writing the book. Thanks for being with us here today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Mike. Thank you for having me. I had a great time talking about this with you. All right. My name is Mike Shoesmith. We'll catch you guys next time.